Hello and welcome back to another Shadowlands Gold Farming video. Today we are going to look at how much gold I've made this week. But before we do that, I want to show you guys one amazing tip on how you can increase your gold. And you can basically print gold or you're buying something and using that currency to buy something else. And you are making gold that way. It's really interesting, but the gold you will make is kind of limited. But you can definitely make some gold by doing this. So basically what I'm talking about here is this moat or spirit of harmony vendor all the way in Pandaria, located right here for Alliance or in the Horde city, basically just on the terrace. You will find this spirit of harmony vendor. You can go to him or her and you can buy stuff with spirit of harmony. Spirit of harmony are tradable and so are the things you're buying. So for example, you have all these items right here that you can buy for Spirits of Harmony, and you also have a second page with even more items. And in my opinion, and in my experience, there's four items that will give you tons of profit, and I'll rank them from worst to best. White Trillium Ore and Black Trillium Ore kind of have the shared third and fourth spot for how much profit you make by doing this, or buying them with Spirits of Harmony. Then in the second spot is the Golden Lotus, you will make tons of profit by simply buying Spirits of Harmony and transferring them into two Golden Lotus. And then for the first place you have Serpent's Eye, which can make you tons of profit but has a kind of low sell rate. So you don't want to buy 1000 Spirits and convert them to 1000 Serpent's Eyes. Maybe you'll buy 5 or 10 and that's enough for you. So in my experience, I usually buy like let's say 5 or 10 Serpent's Eye with uh, Spirit of Harmony. Then I use a ton of them on Golden Lotus because they have a very good sell rate. And the same for Black Trillium as well. So instead of putting all my eggs into one basket, even though this one will give you the, me the most profit, I'm trying to spread out my investments into anything profitable. So go and check out the price for Spirit of Harmony on your server. Then compare that to the price of Serpent's Eye, or 2 Golden Lotus, or 5 Trillium Ores, and see if you can make a profit, and if you can, then buy out the spirits, and go here and buy these items. I want to give a massive shout out to Shape for actually shedding some light on this flip right here. It is a very good one, very old one, one I haven't used in quite a while right now as I've been very focused on Shadowlands content. So actually knowing about this one again and getting some refreshments is really good. So thanks Shape, I'll leave you the link to your video in the description down below. And if you guys want to check it out, then the link will be down below. Alright guys, so with that out the way, let's talk about how much gold I've made this week. Now before we do that, I want to shout out my Patreon page. You will find a link to my Patreon down below, and by being a patron you will get early access to Shadowlands Gold Farms, any gold farms that I think is valuable enough to put on Patreon, so you can enjoy them first, and supporting me on Patreon is the best way to support me as a content creator, apart from slapping that like and subscribing, or leaving comments down below as you can do for free, but supporting me on Patreon, going that extra mile, is definitely really good for me as a content creator, it, it allows me to take less shifts at my job and focus more on actually making content and streaming for you guys and farming gold. So if you want to support me on Patreon and get early access to videos, then definitely check out the link down below. I'm trying to upload more and more early access and Patreon specific content to kind of preserve the quality of the gold farms, because the more people know about them, the worse they become, as they will become more popular and more farmed, right? So having a less, uh, a less known gold farm is definitely good. So let's talk about the weekly gold. I, this week has been very slow, as I've been diversifying my investments to make gold in different ways. And basically I've started this new series on the channel where I'm trying to make between 100k and 1 million gold with every single profession, depending on how easy it is and how I'm setting things up. So right now I've started with tailoring, and I'm not going to open that for this video. That will be a video in itself, analysing how much I'm making with tailoring, how much profit, how fast they sell and so on. So for this video we only have my pure farmed things, and things that I'm selling on my 
bank account, so basically there will be tons of ores, herbs, cloth, BOEs, and so on. So you can see we sold some shaded sharpening stones right here, we have Phaedrum ores as well, from Medio Street and Farming over in Bastion. We have some shrouded cloth from the 2x4 farming, we have soul dust. And before I started opening, I had 600k in my banks. We are working our way to our third gold cap, by the way, in Shadowlands, as we have made 20 million gold so far. And this is like the continuation of that series. We also have some soul dust right there, we have some fish. A bit more ores as well, some cloth. Heavy callous hides, really really good on this one. 1.1k gold each as well. Eternal crystals have gone down in price a lot. A lithium ore we got from doing our farm in the Ma for both a lithium and night chain. 500 regular callus. Or sacred shards, tons of leather. Much, pretty much all of the nightshade we got from the farm from testing out in the Ma. And this is going to be the big boy right here, 200k from the BOE. We got this one on stream while doing the 2x4 farm in Revendreth. Really happy about that one. Kinda saved the week. 4k gold, 13k gold, 4k. A lot of mining and herbalism actually this week. Rising Glory at 60 gold a pop. This one has gone down a lot in value. So I'm really happy to have sold these while they were worth so much. Some more leather, some vigil torch, some more heavy callus, and one more BOE. So pretty much we made about 500k from today's uh, opening. Not bad, but not good. My, my goal is pretty much to make 1 million gold every single week. So we made half our gold, uh, half our goal this week. Could have been better, but could have been worse as well. 500k I'm happy with, considering I've been sending tons of my lightless silk and shrouded cloth to my tailor to craft things for the tailoring challenge, which will probably come out in a video form very soon as well. So yeah, there it is guys, 500k gold this week. Could've been better, could've been worse, I'm happy though. If there's any specific videos, any kind of challenges or anything you want me to make, let me know in the comments down below, I absolutely love reading your guys' feedback. So let me know, I'm all about making content that you guys will enjoy. So if there's any videos, any farms, any gold making methods, anything you want me to make videos on, let me, let me know down below. Reach out on Discord as well if you want to. And that is pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.